Today we had a high-level debate on strategic communications in peacekeeping missions. This is the first time the United Nations Security Council holds a meeting specifically dedicated to this issue. Strategic communications are activities used by the UN peacekeeping missions to secure the political and public support that they need to implement their mandates and create a safe environment for peacekeepers. Strategic communications also help to manage expectations of local communities and the host government. During the debate, Today, we heard the Secretary General's vision for the communications strategy of the UN. We also heard representatives from all council members and several other countries, including countries that contribute troops and police to peacekeeping missions. We are also privileged to hear the first commander of the UN's largest mission about his experience on the ground, MONUSCO's force commander. And I am glad to say that the Security Council has approved the presidential statement proposed by Brazil on strategic communications. I'd like to point out that it's the first document approved by the Council on this issue. It requests the Secretary General to provide a general review of strategic communications across United Nations peacekeeping operations to identify existing groups, gaps, sorry, and propose measures to address them. Thank you very much. Your president yesterday talked. Your yeah, your president yesterday talked about a possible um, oil deal or de buying diesel from Russia. I was wondering if you could expand on that. Like when, when, and how much are you looking to buy? And if you have any pushback from any allies. I see. Look, uh, you know, Russia is a strategic partner of Brazil. Uh, we are partners at BRICS. Uh, we rely heavily on fertilizers export from Russia and from Belarus as well. And of course, uh, Russia is a great provider of oil and gas. You can ask Germany about that. You can ask Europe about that. Uh, so Brazil, uh, we are in short supply of diesel. I think the whole world, I think we have refinery problems. It's not a question of having oil, but uh, you have the, some refinery gap that made, made the stocks of uh, diesel oil uh, live short uh, around the world. So of course we have to, to make sure that we have enough diesel to the Brazilian agribusiness and for, of course for Brazilian uh, drivers. So that's why we, we, we were looking you know, uh, for the safe and uh, the very reliable uh, suppliers of diesel. Russia is one of them. And have you had any pushback from any uh, Western countries? I don't think so, in a way. I think if you have Europe, if you have Germany, you know, the, the buying, if you have a, a recently wave from Canada, from the, the, the Siemens uh, turbines for Nord Stream gas, I think we, we are on the same page. Okay. And how much are you looking to buy from Russia? Oh, as, as much as we can. Okay. And yes. shortly, soon? Or? Yes, yes. It seems that the deals are being closed. Um, I think that recently, as is yesterday, so we think it's 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 uh, a going on supply. Oh, like you're not at all worried that that is funding a war that has been condemned by so many here at the the UN, a war on Ukraine, which is in breach of the of the UN Charter. Should maybe ask Mr. Shows about that, and then I answer it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister.